Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a preacher, author, mother, and wife who is using her personal life experiences to encourage and inspire so, so many others. Absolutely, and we're so excited to have her here today to talk about the weapons of spiritual war warfare mm -hmm. and how to become a ferocious warrior. Please welcome Pastor Cora Jakes Coleman. Yay! Hello. Hello. Well, welcome to the show. How you Thank doing today? You. I'm doing well and yourself. I'm doing good, very, good, very good, huh? well. Of course, you know, we got to talk about Daddy growing up as the daughter, one of the daughters of, of T.D. Jakes, uh, who was named America's Best Preacher by Time Magazine. Wow, that's good, girl. I, we already know the stories about PKs. Did you feel like you had to go in this route or was Absolutely that a calling? Absolutely not. Yes. Absolutely not. My parents never pressured us um, to become preachers or to, to be on the stage. Um, since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a preacher mm -hmm. like my daddy. Mm -hmm. So I watched him. I studied him. I, I still watch him and study him. And uh, and it's been an honor and a pleasure to, to be able to carry on his legacy. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Oh, that is good. Yes, yes. So, Cora, you have two beautiful children. Yes. Yes. And motherhood has to be amazing. Oh, yeah. How has it impacted your ministry? Mm. Uh, motherhood has given me much patience <laughs> uh, for ministry. Um, you have to be patient with kids. You have to figure out what works for each one. What works for my daughter doesn't work for my son yep, and yep. vice versa. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is how ministry is. Everything doesn't work for the same person. So it's allowed me patience and really um, enjoying the process. You mm -hmm. know, I'm a, a process girl. So uh, having them, it, it's just amazing amazing watching them grow and, yeah. and watching them develop to their own little personalities. You know, I want to piggyback on uh, the first question I had um, as you talk about motherhood. How did you find your unique calling, you know, to separate yourself or differentiate yourself from your family? Hmm. That's, ah, that's a good question. <laughs> Um, I think that I've always been kind of uh, very transparent mm -hmm. and blunt, mm -hmm. more so than anybody else in my family. Mm -hmm. um, my dad always says she's in a in a spot all <laughs> <laughs> um, And so I've always been very comedic, very fun, very accessible. Yeah. And I think that um, that is what kind of sets me apart from everybody else in the family. They're kind of in their own little yeah, corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about the journey to writing Ferocious Warrior. What's that journey been like for you? Um, well, I didn't really deem myself a ferocious warrior. The people saw me pray, and um, every time I pray, I, I pray a little ferocious. So <laughs> no, um, I think that they developed uh, the ferocious warrior in me, the battles that I've fought, um, infertility and depression and just insecurity. Mm. Um, it, it developed something in me that makes me uh, relentless, and, um, and I wake up in the morning trying to find ways to really tick the devil off. You know, mm, just any, any kind of way I can do it. I, I look for ways to upset him. That's good. <laughs> I like that. I like yes. that. It's, not, it's interesting that you say that because some people look for, for ways to just be a nuisance. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I love that you're like, no, I'm, I'm going to stand in my truth. I love the Lord and I'm going to, you know, he's not winning today. Yeah, 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 yeah. So with that being said, we talk a little bit about spiritual, a spiritual fight, and you talk about, uh, you know, uh, the weapons of a spiritual war warfare. Um, it's definitely different from physical. What are some of the um, things that you can identify with to know that you're in a spiritual warfare? Mm -hmm. um, I think that anything that pulls you away from being the best version of yourself is a war. Mm -hmm. um, and we battle with standing in our confidence and standing in who we are called to be. And so um, a lot of times depression, anxiety, um, that breakup, that, that husband acting a fool, your kids acting crazy, <laughs> um, are ways that the enemy uses in our modern time to kind of distract us, detour us, and delay us from our destiny. And so when we talk about weapons, prayer and reading your word and worship are things you need to do together. Mm -hmm. You can't do one without the other. They all work together. Mm -hmm. um, and once you master your <coughs> weapons, then you become a ferocious warrior. So so give us some weapons mm. that we could use. Is that calling in our, our, the prayer warriors? Is that falling 
on you your face yourself. Like, yeah, tell you, me about you it. You are the warrior. So prayer, I believe you must be specific in prayer. Mm -hmm. um, you can't just kind of tiptoe around. It's not your time to be embarrassed or ashamed about mm -hmm. what you're going through. No one knows like you what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the Lord in prayer, it is important that you surround yourself with your truth and and you allow that to be your weapon um the enemy doesn't expect you to be transparent with god mm -hmm. and so well, god knows already he knows even before you do it so right. why not and mm -hmm. so he doesn't expect that he expects right. that we will tie ourselves to shame mm -hmm. we'll tie ourselves to embarrassment mm -hmm. we'll hide That's tricks. we'll lie tricks. yes That's the tricks is. of the enemy and so um it's important that when you go to prayer you're authentic when you worship you're on you're authentic and you don't don't allow your situations to uh, suppress your success. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's, that's good, good Pastor Cora. Cora. Now, you know, we are very, very stalkerish on this show. <laughs> and we go down to the Instagram. It gives us we great have information. We that do it. It's not us. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, so okay, we we'll pulled a few uh, <laughs> quotes from your Instagram yes, that we would we like for you to elaborate on briefly. Okay. And the first one is, religion raised you, but only relationship will save you. Ooh. Yes. Um, I believe that we grew up in churches telling you what you can wear, mm -hmm. what you can do, your short, your skirt's too short, mm -hmm. you can't wear that hat, you can't do this. And there's all these religious rules. Mm -hmm. And I believe that once you get into a relationship with God, it kind of erases religion. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have a religion, I have a relationship that um, doesn't allow the rules of people to dictate how I walk. Yes. Right. That's I good. love that. Really quickly, here's one. If you aren't careful, uh, your envir environment will take the integrity out of your character. Yeah, you've got to be careful who you hang out with. The people that you surround yourself with, the surroundings that you choose to be in, if they are not benefiting your integrity, they're, they're dishonoring it. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. One last one. Okay. Or maybe maybe two more. Okay. Stop sowing your seeds into popularity, but no prosperity. Popularity doesn't mean fruitful. Oh, that's good. Yes. Get them on the Instagram. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we media often forward. will spend more money making sure that everybody that we see is successful than we do putting it into grounds that are going to produce for us. And so popularity is something that we often invest in more so than producing purpose in our own life. Mm. That's yummy. That. Can you do one more? I got one more too. Okay, and this good. is good. This one is almost saying silence is gold. And it says here, silence can't be quoted or misinterpreted. Sometimes the best thing to do is to be quiet. That's what my mama said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's not my quote. Um, whenever I get upset or, or any of us, because um, my family, we're all on social media. So, uh, you know, trolls and, and enemies, they just come out. Yes. And so my mom always tells us that silence can't be quoted mm. and so you don't have to respond to everything you don't have to react to everything you need to know what to respond to and what not to that's mm. good that's good silence is golden well pastor Cora you have preached the word down to the circle today <laughs> <laughs> we definitely appreciate you uh, if you can definitely begin to conquer your enemies by picking up her book ferocious warrior and for inspiration and encouragement like you just heard follow her on Instagram at C Jakes Coleman thank you so much thank you.